do another video about this kind of unsettling time with coronavirus and coping with an eating disorder. I live in Dubai with my husband and we're self-isolating. We have been for two weeks. All of the schools and shops and gyms and bars have closed. And like isolating with an eating disorder can really start like throwing up thoughts. Yeah, if you have a hard relationship with like food and movement, this can be a really, really difficult time, but that does not mean it's a reason to go backwards or to fall back into eating disorder behaviors. I've honestly been so conscious of it the last two weeks and I'm just trying to like share some of the things which have been helping me. And in other news, I am now 35 weeks pregnant. There's a little sprout in there. And today I've just discovered that wearing my husband's t-shirts is the best thing ever. <laughs> Up. Oh well, who doesn't have to be perfect? So we've ordered dinner with a jigsaw. I also think it's really important just... <laughs> I also think it's important to keep eating well during this time just because not eating properly makes people feel like shit. Like it'll make you... <laughs> You'll get behind me. It's gonna make you tired, more anxious. You're gonna be thinking about food all the time if you're not getting the food that you need. Even if friends stopped eating properly and he doesn't have a history of an eating disorder, he would start feeling shit and be thinking about food all the time and be planning his food and be looking through the cupboards wanting to eat food. Yeah, <laughs> Okay, we're gonna eat. Just having our lunch and doing a puzzle. Brendan made it. He's made us turkey and mayo rolls. I honestly, can't tell you how much better I feel physically, mentally, just for eating properly during this time and not restricting. Like, I get the temptation to look for that, like, short-term eating disorder fix. Like, if you're moving less and so you want to compensate, or if things are just feeling out of control and you just want to, like, have something that you can actually control. But it is such a short-term fix, like, long-term. Physically, it's just gonna make you feel like shit. And mentally, you're just gonna be obsessed with food again. So I just think even if it's tempting, like it is shit being stuck inside in isolation or whatever your situation is, like the stress of the current situation. But restriction and eating disorder, like is not an answer, like not a long-term answer anyway. It's a, maybe a short-term feel good, but long-term, like it's really not an answer. Best buds. So I've been having a bath every day at the moment. It's like to get myself relaxed and as part of hypno birthing and preparation for the birth. I'm hoping to have a water birth, so yeah, I'm just trying to practice. Bren and I are just making breakfast. Normally I actually have breakfast first. Like, no, our routine in the day seems to be he gets up and gets his work going and then he'll stop for breakfast later, but I get up and have breakfast straight away. Which is fine, like we've got different bodies, we've got different tastes, different needs. I prefer breakfast first thing. He's making, what are you having? Sultana bran and banana. And I'm going to have toast. So bread has turned out to be our best friend in isolation. Like, it's so easy to freeze, make, it's tasty, it's cheap. You can have it for like breakfast, snacks. And it's not like I wouldn't eat bread before. Like I've always had like a bagel or toast or whatever for breakfast. And then every day I have a sandwich for lunch. But I'm just trying to keep going with my regular diet. Like just because I'm trapped indoors now doesn't need, mean I need to cut back. Doesn't mean I need to invent rules on like how many times a day I'm allowed to have bread. So yeah, pretty much my approach has just been carry on as normal. Like just eat my normal diet. Nothing's changed, I'm just trapped indoors. Starting to get thoughts in your head like, oh, I need to spread a bit less, I'm trapped indoors, I need to save some calories to make up for it. Or maybe you're just like stressed and anxious and you wanna to turn to your eating disorder for coping mechanism, like just no. You have to block the thoughts like, no brain, I don't do that shit anymore. Recovery isn't just for when I'm able to leave the house, it's an always thing. And if I go back to the behaviors now, like once I can leave the house again and this isolation period passes, I'm gonna be stuck back in my eating disorder again and back in my old habits. So just because I'm trapped indoors doesn't mean I need to restrict. And I'm using up the other half of Brendan's banana because why not? I wasn't planning it, but 
It doesn't matter. Food is just food. just on the point of like what other people are eating in your house if you're trapped in the house with like your family or a partner it can be really difficult around comparison of like how much other people are eating when other people are eating maybe if they're doing home workouts or whatever I still think it's really important to remember like you're on your own path if you're still in recovery like that's going to look very very different to somebody else's path around food and exercise like brendan for example doesn't always snack between meals and i do and like he has his breakfast late so quite often i'll have have like a mid-morning snack at the same time he's having his breakfast and then my head can start going like oh my god you've had a whole extra meal on top of him but like we have different bodies we've got very different needs i'm in recovery from a restrictive eating disorder i'm in a routine of eating snacks between my meals and like i need it i want to eat i don't want to sit around wishing i could eat but not letting myself because somebody else isn't also i'm nearly 35 weeks pregnant now like I just have different needs for a number of different reasons I have different needs to Brendan. I'm pregnant or not, hunger or not, like sometimes you might just be bored, you just want food, like that's okay. It doesn't need to exactly match what everybody else in the house is doing. Like when I wake up in the morning I don't have to wait for Brendan to eat for me to be allowed to start eating. Like. I can be the first person in the house to eat. I can be the only person in the house that snacks. I can be the only person in the house not doing a home workout. I can be the person in the house that eats the most. Like, it's really not the end of the world. Before this corona isolation happened, I was in a real routine of three meals every day, and then I'd have something to eat in between my meals. And to be honest, I like that routine. Like, I like eating that amount. I like food. I don't want to go long stretches of time without being able to eat. And just because I'm now trapped in the house doesn't mean I need to change my routine. Like, my body can cope, and I don't know, I kind of need it for my recovery, to be honest. Like, I cannot afford to go back to restrictions or denying myself food. Like, for me, that would be an extremely slippery slope straight back into an eating disorder. Like, it is a really difficult time. It can be really triggering for your eating disorder. But this isn't life forever. Like, this period will pass. And thinking about the bigger picture, like, what do I ultimately want my life to be? What person do I want to be? I don't want it to be consumed by eating disorder. But even if I get restrictive thoughts, and even if somebody else around me might be restricting, even if someone else in my house is dieting, it doesn't matter. They've got a different body to me. They've got a different health legacy. They've got different needs, different tastes. So you just do you, I'll do me. I'll stick to my path. So I'm gonna go and do some work now. And then we really need to clean the house. We've been trying to like keep on top of it and keep it clean and tidy every day, but it slipped <laughs> the last couple of days. So we said we'll both have a joint clean this morning. We just had to wash the dog because a couple of nights ago we had salmon for dinner and he like licked the tray and all day yesterday he absolutely stank of salmon. <laughs> so we've just given him a bath and now he's going nuts. Betty! So Brendan's just gone for a run. I'm in a meeting at work and just hanging out the washing. It's just one that I need to like listen into. Just cause he's gone running doesn't mean I need to. Like I'm not doing any exercise at all at the moment. Hello puppy. And that's fine. Like my body can cope with it. I'll go and walk the dog, but nothing like home workouts or anything like that. Like, no. Again, I want to get through this period, like not having relapse, not turning to restriction or exercise to get through it. So that's my priority. Bren and I are different, we're in different places in our lives, we've got different bodies, we've got different needs. It doesn't matter what anyone else in your house is doing, like, doesn't mean you need to.
So I'm also trying to make sure that I keep all my old fear foods in my diet. Like salad dressing was a huge fear for me. I just felt like it was unnecessary calories in my food. And I spent months and months challenging it to get to the point where I now don't have anxiety having it. And I just don't want to mess that up. Eating disorders are slippery slopes. So I just don't think you can afford to ever go back to your fear foods or ever start restricting them again. Like once they're in, they're in. I wasn't challenging it as a one-off or just to be able to have it when I'm allowed out the house. No, it's a normal food. It's a regular part of my diet now regardless of the circumstances. So we're having, what are they? Lamb and mint. Lamb and mint burgers for dinner with sweet tip fries. And um, obviously, hold on. Normal wedges. Oh, it's normal wedges, is it? Okay, it's not sweet potato fries. And we've run out of cheese, which is annoying. So we don't have cheeseburgers, but never mind. This is like a really normal dinner that we would have regularly, so doesn't need to be any different because we're trapped inside. We're playing Scrabble with dinner. Word of the game so far, 